Let's turn to what's happening in the United States. The health of the president and the presidential hopeful has become a subject of debate. Is Joe Biden mentally unfit for office? Is Donald Trump suffering from mini strokes? These are some questions that have taken the center stage in the U.S. lately. In this report, we'll try to find the answers. Starting with Joe Biden, he's known to be a gaffe machine. Biden's many public blunders have earned him the title Sleepy Joe that Donald Trump likes to use. The 77-year-old is now the official Democratic presidential nominee, and the questions around his cognitive abilities have only increased. Joe Biden is being called mentally unstable. In question is a report that was recently submitted to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS. This report was about alleged election interference by foreign powers, seeking to raise doubts about the health of both the presidential candidates. The report was titled, Russia likely to denigrate health of U.S. candidates to influence 2020 election. It was sent to the DHS Public Affairs Office in the month of July. We are in September. The draft mentioned that the Russian media has been publishing reports on the poor mental health of Joe Biden. This report, like many products from DHS Intelligence Bureau, was intended to be distributed to federal and state enforcement agencies. But it hasn't been distributed. It's been delayed for further review. And then it was completely withheld. Now, this information has been leaked and it has prompted scrutiny of alleged political influence at the DHS, the Department of Homeland Security. Why did the department not release the report? Was it told not to by the White House? These are some of the questions that are being asked in the US. The DHS says it did not publish the report because it was quote unquote, poorly written, that it lacked the necessary context and evidence for broader dissemination. The Democrats are pushing for a probe in the meantime, concerns are being raised about Donald Trump's health as well. Rumor mills have been abuzz with news that the 74-year-old is suffering many strokes. It all started with a report published by Matt Drudge, an American political commentator and an influential media personality. He runs a website called The Drudge Report. During 2016, he used every bit of his influence to back Donald Trump during the election. Now he has turned against Trump, like so many people who once supported Trump. Recently, this man published a column which suggested that Trump had been suffering mini strokes. As proof, he provided some images of Donald Trump dragging his right leg. Dr. Sean Conley, the US president's physician, has categorically denied all such reports and claims. But Donald Trump, is known to be his own spokesperson. So he put out a tweet. A tweet written by his own, in his own incredible style. And let me quote from this. It never ends. Now they're trying to say that your favorite president, me, went to Walter Reed Medical Center having suffered a series of many strokes. Never happened to this candidate. Fake news, he says. Perhaps they're referring to another candidate from another party typical Donald Trump and he did not stop there he put out another tweet and this one was aimed directly at Matt Drudge he said that Drudge does not support him and that's why he is doing poorly and he's possibly thinking about himself in the report that was published no such bold words from Joe Biden he was mostly silent on questions on his mental health. As I speak, Joe Biden is headed to Kenosha, the latest flashpoint of violent protests in America. This visit comes just two days after Trump traveled to the same city. The dueling trips are set to frame the upcoming presidential debates around racial injustice. We'll be tracking all developments closely on this show.